Hi friends, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Sam Via. Today we are going to address an age-old question, to ion or not to ion? But honestly, the thing that you guys always ask is, do those ion things really work? Well, let's talk about what an ion charge is. So basically what it's doing is the ionic charge that is emitted by a blow dryer or through a flat iron or something like that is basically creating an environment where the cuticle can be closed easier and the water can be taken from the hair, the water molecule can be taken from the hair quicker and easier. So usually requires less heat, less time, less energy to get a very polished blow dry. Now here's the thing, are they always the best thing for us? Maybe not. And that's why when we designed our Sandia Artist Series blow dryer, what we did is we created an ion on off switch. What we realized is there is times where maybe the ions aren't the most beneficial thing for you. And that might be cases where you have finer, maybe up to medium density hair textures that you're looking for the maximum amount of body and fullness from. So on those types of hair te textures, what we discovered is by flipping the ionic switch off, we can maintain more body and more density. So what we're gonna do for you today is we're gonna do a simple blow dry on our beautiful guest here, and we're gonna split her down the middle. On one side, I am gonna keep the ionic switch on so that you can see the polish that you get from that ionic switch. And then on the opposite side, we're gonna flip the ionic switch off so that you can see how you're gonna maintain a little bit more fullness and density to the shape. Before we do that, we are gonna use just a touch of product. I don't wanna over product the hair because um, I wanna make sure that you guys have a really honest result here. We are going to use the Redken One United, mainly just through the mid strand and ends and a very light spray. These mannequin heads can get a little bit frizzy and grippy on the ends, so this is gonna help. And a touch of the Satinware 04, again, to add just a touch of conditioning to these ends and to make sure that we get a really nice polish on the ends. So we'll just lightly mist through the one United. And then we're just gonna take one single pump of the Satinware 04. Place it into our palm, emulsify, and then work through the ends. Now we'll set her up with a center part so that we have our halves to test. And for the blow dry, we're gonna use the Samvia Artist Series blow dryer, which is the one that we designed with the on, on off switch. And we're also gonna use our Signature Series paddle brush. Um, the reason we're gonna go with the Signature Series paddle brush instead of the Artist Series is the Signature Series has a more open design. It does not have the boar hair bristle base, so it's not gonna give me as much tension. And whereas we're trying to kind of show more of fullness in the shape, we want the lower tension. To begin the blow dry, I'm gonna use my favorite brush, my hands. All right, she's all set up. So. Watch as we work through. We're gonna kind of speed up the pace a little bit here so that you don't watch a whole blow dry. And then you'll notice as we get towards the end, we're gonna have one side with the ions that should be a little more polished and then one side with the ions off, which should have a little more body to it. Keep watching. Ferns, kind of last finishing pass here. Just gonna put the last little touch of polish on these ends. Going nice and slow with that paddle brush. Give it a nice polish. 
So the first time that I did this for myself when we were testing the blow dryer, I was honestly really kind of surprised by the results. Um, I'm kind of a skeptic to be completely honest with you. And when I saw the results firsthand, I was a believer. So I tried to be as fair as possible about this. You guys, you know, just by watching those couple clips that you saw of me going through the blow dry, I went through the same process. Started with just my fingers and hands to start stretching the base. And then I switched to that paddle brush to just polish the ends. Now you'll notice on the non ion side, there's definitely a fluffiness here. Um, so especially if you're trying to maintain fullness at the base, ions off is probably the way to go then if you look at this side though you definitely have more shine over here um, one of the things i found too is if i do the whole thing with the ions off it takes longer um, so it definitely it has helped me to be a believer in the fact that those ions do what they what all the manufacturers claim they do and it allows that moisture to come out of the hair faster and get to a more polished result a lot easier so you want sleek polish ions on you want fullness and a little bit of fluff to the hair ions off and we're really happy to have that feature for you on our artist series blow dryer if you're in the market for a blow dryer check this baby out i think you'll love it if you have any other questions about ions on or ions off let us know in the box below or leave us your comments we love to hear from you guys Thank you so much for watching. We hope this helped you out. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sam Via.